Hi, this is Commander Dave Skanke, Director of the Division of Lifecycle API, and I just wanted to say a few words as we bring this two-day DMF and drug substance workshop to a close. First and foremost, I'd like to say some well-deserved thank yous. Uh, to the Brett, Captain Brenda Stoddart and the entire team at SBIA, uh, their efforts in hosting this great event and their gracious help and advice as we moved from planning through to implementation of the poster session and the two-day workshop were truly tremendous. Uh, they embraced every innovative idea that we could come up with to enhance the content and interaction in a virtual format, including us, including helping us figure out a way to do posters in a virtual environment, which was a first for them. So thank you very much to SBIA. Uh, next, I'd like to thank the workshop planning committee uh, in the Division of Lifecycle API. Uh, their hard work over the past year in designing and coordinating this great event was truly amazing. Uh, I'd like to thank Aaron Skoda and Ram Rondad, the chairs for day one and day two, respectively, uh, and the committee members, uh, Barbara Scott, Wei Lu, Chin Shi, and Fardok Abelwerdy. Uh, their efforts were truly tremendous, and, and uh, I think that shows in, in uh, how well the workshop was presented. Um, I'd, I'd like to thank all the poster and talk presenters uh, and the panel members. Uh, their hard work in preparing and delivering the over 25 hours of content during this workshop was just amazing. Uh, we had folks from no less than 12 different organizations within FDA that work on DMFs or drug substance evaluation in some capacity, be that administrative processing, user fees, quality assessment, farm tox consults, QSAR consults, uh, evaluation of manufacturing facilities, policy, emerging technology, uh, you name it, they were all here. Uh, and I hope one thing that really did uh, shine through and that you will take away from this workshop is that DMF and drug substance assessment at FDA is a huge, well-coordinated team effort uh, from a lot of very dedicated and hardworking uh, individuals across a wide range of uh, disciplines. And finally, I'd like to thank the many workshop attendees. Um, it wouldn't have been uh, such a huge success without your enthusiastic support for this event. Um, and just so that you know, uh, Brenda tells me that we've had a record in terms of the number of registrants uh, for a single event. We had over 6,000 people from all over the world, uh, and that set a new record for a uh, uh, single topic event for SBIA. And we are very humbled by the huge level of interest and the turnout. Uh, so thank you. Some of the goals for the workshop and some of the broad themes that uh, ran throughout this two-day event um, were one, to increase transparency. Uh, we wanted to provide you transparency on the DMF and drug substance processes uh, and provide some clarity on our expectations. Um, we believe that that's imperative uh, for industry to be able to uh, have that information so that they can use it to improve their submissions and improve the uh, drug substance review process overall. Um, we wanted to foster an understanding through interaction to increase industry's understanding through the talks and the posters um, with multiple opportunities for you to get your questions answered by FTA staff. Uh, we were a little afraid that being in the virtual envir environment might limit us uh, in this regard, uh, but we were able to come up with what we thought were some innovative solutions, uh, the virtual posters and the follow-up webinar, uh, to preserve this important aspect of the event in the virtual environment. Um, we also wanted to focus on improving communication. Uh, both between industry and FDA, and also between the DMF holders and the applicants. Uh, by leveraging the transparency and the understanding um, so that it leads to a more efficient review process overall for DMFs uh, and the applications that they support. 
And finally, we really wanted to give you a peek at the future of drug substance and DMF review here at the agency uh, by introducing you to some very recent developments and future initiatives to improve DMF and drug substance assessment, such as CASA, uh, IQA Align Teams, uh, DMF Form 38, 3938, uh, just to name a few of the things that we discussed. Um, so we felt that it was important that you uh, get a heads up on some of those things so that you know what's coming. Um, so you'll ultimately be the judge of how well we did accomplishing these goals. Um, please fill out the workshop survey and let us know how we did. Uh, please also pay particular attention to the question on suggestions for format and topics of future events. This is your chance to tell us what you would like to see next time so that we can design an event that closely meets your needs. And finally, as I bring this workshop to a close, I'd just like to remind everybody that it's not quite over because we still have the DMF drug substance follow-up Q&A webinar on April the 9th. Everyone registered for the workshop is automatically registered for this event and folks not registered for the workshop will be able to register for this event as well. Please see our event page for details. At the follow-on webinar, we will be presenting answers to questions from the workshop presentations that were collected during the event and due to time constraints we were not able to get to during the sessions. Uh, we will also be presenting answers to new questions on both the talks and the posters that are submitted to us by March 19th uh, to the link shown here. Uh, both the talks and the posters will um, remain available to you for viewing. So if you go back and look at them and think of more questions, um, you'll have an opportunity to submit them and then get answers. Um, we will also be including a live Q&A opportunity with various panel members from the workshop uh, present at the follow-up webinar to answer additional questions. And so with that, I will officially bring the SBIA DMF and drug substance workshop to a close. Uh, and I hope to see you all at the webinar on April 9th. Uh, please take care and stay safe.